Hello and welcome to the second of our Velo Pedal in Colorado tutorials about how to use the Mapillary user interface uh, to access the trail report uh, trail tracks for our uh, Velo Pedal in Colorado project uh, as we explore the Metzger Farm open space. In the first tutorial, we showed you how to use the various uh, basic controls of Mapillary to follow up a virtual time-lapse photo sequence uh, along the Lowell Boulevard uh, leg of the open space. That's a single, uh, what Mapillary calls sequence of time-lapse images that went from the parking lot up to the uh, Lowell Boulevard and West 124th Avenue intersection. And we showed you how you could use the Mapillary interface to run up and down that leg of the path um, with the uh, basic controls uh, to go through that single sequence. What we want to look at uh, today quickly is um, how to uh, access a trail report where uh, there are more than one segment of time-lapse photos to do a, a full uh, trail report. In that case, we'll, we'll, we'll take a quick look at the uh, what we call the Metzger Farm, the pond loop. And the pond loop, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, select an, uh, an image that's in the uh, sequence of the pond loop, is that you'll notice that when I selected that image, only a portion of the loop uh, turned blue. And what that's indicating to us is that, that this uh, pond loop trail report uh, track is made up of more than one uh, mapillary sequence of Im time lapse images. I'm going to switch places of the, uh, I clicked on that little angle bracket in the picture in picture to switch to the um, images up in the main frame and put the, the map down in the picture in picture. We're gonna head off down the path this way along the, the uh, uh, first leg of the loop and I'll start the image up while I explain a little bit about this. Uh, this series of images is a bit herky-jerky because our first trip out we uh, used the recommended mapillary for, uh, to set to uh, two second time-lapse uh, images uh, and we walk so slowly it turns out that was a, a little uh, too crazy and uh, we on our subsequent trips we're setting it uh, to five seconds and that smooths things out but as we head down and I'll zoom out a bit on the thing we're gonna there we go boom we got to the end and let me switch picture in picture as you see here we're now at the end of that blue segment of the first part of the, the, the pond loop. If I go, and what you do when you want to uh, switch from segment to segment, you use what Mapillary calls spatial arrows that you'll find on the ground, the virtual, uh, these little arrows are on the ground in front of you. And so I'm, I'm pointing down the path and I click on that, that arrow and what you see in the picture in picture is that we switch from the first segment to the second segment. The second segment is quite short. It goes from uh, here into the uh, picnic table pavilion where we stopped and take a, uh, take a rest. So let me start up. Once you switch to the next segment, you hit the play button and we're gonna come around and I'll click and drag in here. Here we'll actually see, I kind of go and sit down and we're sitting at the picnic table. And at this point we cut the camera off and that's why a new segment was started. If we want to continue on the walk around the loop, and let me switch again to see here, we've, we've gone through the first two sections of the walk. If we want to go uh, out and about on the, the second half of our, our walk. I'll switch back to this thing and, and I know I want to walk out 
the path in that direction and head um, on the way back. So I, uh, among the arrows that are available, I point to the one that, that takes me in the direction I want to go. And as you look at the, the picture in picture, and I'll again switch it to the map, bigger map view, you can see that we've jumped from that short segment to a new segment that's going to take us most of the way around on the way back to the parking lot. So I can switch again picture in picture and I'll start the, the virtual little time-lapse movie up and I'm clicking and dragging to keep the... Remember, these are 360-degree images, so we, um, we can look anywhere as we walk a, along one of our trail reports. And we're going to make a, a turn, whoa, a turn here and head down. And as you see, I'm kind of... The runner went past us. You can look around. Here's all the... That's the caretaker's building. There's the old farmhouse that's been renovated, and there's a biker goes past it. We're about to make the final transition to, uh, boom, there we go. Well, you can tell that we've hit the end of the sequence because not only does the image stop, but it pauses in the upper area. You can see that the play button is not highlighted anymore, and we've gotten those spatial arrows down in the uh, ground in front of us. And so, again, I click the one in front of me, and you'll see we the blue has switched from the, the one that we were, the path sequence we were on to the next one in uh, the loop. So now we can go back to the play button and play it, and we're going to uh, head back to the parking lot. We're coming along. You can see how windy it was that day, some of these gusts. It was crazy. Now we're coming around, heading to the car. I'll, I'll show you. Here we go. Boom. There we are. We're back, and I'm getting ready to get in the car, and Tim will put the velo pad into the, to the uh, back of the car before we head home. So that's how you access and, and traverse a multi-sequence mapillary uh, trail track, and it's as simple as using those those uh, spatial arrows that you'll find in the dirt uh, around you as you move from segment to segment and restart the, uh, the playback, uh, the, the time-lapse playback feature. So enjoy our trip reports. I'm sure a bunch of them will be multi-segment as we get to, to take longer walks uh, in, into the future as part of the Velo Pedal in Colorado uh, project. Thanks for watching and I hope you have fun out on the trail like we do.